So you want to learn how to back up and restore your worlds in Minecraft. Now, backing up and restoring worlds, it's super easy, but hopefully you're not in a situation where you have a corrupted world or for whatever reason you can't access a world. Because if you are in that scenario, there's not really much we can do at this point. There are different things, but that's not what this video is about per se. We're going to show you how to back up and restore your worlds, assuming you already have made a backup. If not, this is still good to watch because it's going to show you how to properly back up your Minecraft worlds. So if you do have an issue in the future, you won't have to, uh, well, Google this again. You'll know how to fix it and it won't be as much stress. So first things first, what about Minecraft servers? Well, Minecraft server hosting companies should have backups automatically, just like Apex Minecraft hosting, who sponsors this video. Go to the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to start very own Minecraft server, where you have complete access to backups on Apex. They make automatic backups every single day of your server. So should there be an issue, you need to roll back for whatever reason, you can easily do that. We love and trust them so much. We host our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on Apex Minecraft hosting. So check out Apex, the first link down below the breakdown now.xyz slash apex to get a server that backs up automatically. Nevertheless, what about your world? Well, let's jump into single player here and let's say we have this world, seed 867-5309. I don't know why I love this seed. I want to back it up. Now, if you play this world, it doesn't do anything. It's not going to back up automatically. However, if you click on it one time, so from single player, click on it one time, all of these buttons down here light up. Then click edit. Finally, click on make backup. Boom. Just like that, our world is backed up. Now, let's say we're playing in this world, right? So we've just backed it up, which I would recommend you do, but I just did every time you start to play your Minecraft world. It takes three seconds, then start playing. So we get in game here. This is a creative world. Let's say we get some diamonds here. We're going to place these diamonds down right here in a way that like is going to be pretty recognizable, right? We're just going to come through here and place all of these down. There's no denying that there are diamonds here, right? There are diamonds. And this is about the area we spawned. Remember kind of this sort of area. Now let's say for whatever reason, these break the game. We place these diamonds and the game just crashes. And for whatever reason, we cannot access our world. Well, in that case, what we wanna do is access our backups. Now, in a perfect world, you'd be able to click here, click edit, and then click on open backups folder. But just in case you can't do that, what we wanna do is come back out of game here. And then we wanna click on the little Windows icon in the top left of our screen or bottom left of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. This works on all versions of Windows. So just click the little Windows icon in the bottom left or bottom center of your screen. Then type in run. You have this run app here. And then in this app, you want to type percent sign app data percent sign. So percent app data percent exactly like that and click OK. That's going to open up the roaming folder where you have dot Minecraft. And in here, you'll find backups. And right there it is. You can see the date at the beginning, 4-30-2022. It's when this is being recorded. And then the world name, right? As you can see, seed 867-503 or 5309. Now, this is corrupt, right? It's, it's bad. Bye-bye, delete, because it's corrupt. We can't launch it anymore. But we made a backup. So that means we can go ahead, take this backup, and drag and drop it to our desktop, right? So just take this, drag and drop it to our desktop, right like so. Now, we don't want to close out of this .minecraft folder that we accessed, right, from the run app. So from here, we don't want to close out of this .minecraft folder because we want to go into saves. Now, this time, what we want to do is open up this zip folder by right-clicking and clicking Extract All. Then click Extract on it, and it's going to give us this folder on our desktop. When we open that up, we have this, Seed 8675309. Drag and drop this into your saves folder. Once you've done that, make sure it's correct by opening this up and you should see this. If you don't, then just kind of repeat that process until you do see these whenever you've dragged and dropped it, right? Click through the folders until you see these and then add that to this directory, this save directory here. So nevertheless, once you've got that, if we come back in Minecraft, then you have to restart Minecraft. We click on single player, there it is. Seed 8675309. Open that up and boom, you have restored your Minecraft world. Now. The diamonds are gone, no diamonds there, but this is still here. Everything is exactly as it was when we made that backup. So you lost everything in the play session that corrupted your file, but you didn't lose anything else. And that is how you can back up and restore Minecraft worlds. Another way to get to the backups folder, by the way, is from the Minecraft launcher. So if we go into the Minecraft launcher here, we will be able to see that we can get to the Minecraft folder super, super easy. Just click on installations, 
and then hover over latest release and click on this folder. When you do, there is that backups folder, right? So backups, right like so, and that's where our backup was. This right here was in there. So nonetheless, thank you so much for watching. That's how you can backup and restore Minecraft worlds. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. My name is Nick, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.